I'm an architect in private practice in Namibia. My practice works from a small outbuilding in my garden where we incorporated many of the design principles that we would like clients to use. It's a um, renovated building so the orientation isn't ideal but we, we try to adapt it. The office building itself is an um, expanded outbuilding at my um, house which we try to incorporate a lot of the things that we try and convince clients about, you know, so we put in solar power so that when you say to people it's a good idea to put solar power in your house that I can take them out and I can say this is how it works, these are the problems we've had, these are the, the benefits we've had. Our drawing studio looks out onto the tree canopy and the balconies for private conversations, we've got bird feeders. We run on solar power and we use Vintox recycled water. Um, we've got a roof mounted evaporative cooler because it does get hot, but we, because of the way the office is designed, we only really need it for about 12 to 16 hours a week during the very hot months, which is about four months of the year. I try to focus on sustainable construction, even though it's quite difficult to specialize in such a small country. At AZA, I presented mostly my own work, some of the, the most known projects like some community projects and then some libraries that we did recently. Our most current projects are three regional resource and study centres, libraries, and these are also some of the largest buildings we've done to date. We had three sites but similar briefs. So what we did is we um, designed modules for each and then we rearranged them in different ways. We wanted to use solar power as much as possible. So all the roofs were orientated 23 degree pitch facing north to get the optimum efficiency. There are a couple of basic things that are absolutely critical. One of them for me is functioning and circulation. If I get lost in a building, it's a bad building. If people can't do the physical, practical things that they need to do in a building, you know, if you've got lighting that doesn't help, you know, washes out the presentation, or if people need to walk into the office and switch the light on even in the daytime when they're working, that is bad. That's really what architecture is about. Dealing with all those very important questions in a very simple way. So we use passive design principles, like at Makoku, we um, have our short sides facing east and west um, um, for the hot arid climate. And we use thermal mass, um, low maintenance durable clay brick walls, concrete structures to temper the extremes of heat. And then we've got north and south facing glazing for lots of daylighting. And then in winter we've got low sun angles that come in at um, north facing windows so we don't use artificial heating at all. We won the competition for the Habitat Research and Development Centre in 2002. Which is um, constructed with the intention to create a research um, centre for sustainable housing. It was a competition and we went from the kind of perspective that why build a conventional building when the point of the building is to re do research in alternative and sustainable um, construction technologies. We incorporated a whole range of passive design principles and we added some mechanical input um, to make the buildings perform well but with a minimum of energy use. The buildings are nestled that are a riverbed that follow the existing topography and we used gabions in the river to slow down the stormwater runoff and most of the existing trees and shrubs were retained. You can see we sort of curved everything around it. We saw the, the project as an experiment. By Through the building we will do experiments and we'll look at different construction methods and so on. We didn't invent anything new. We learned most of it from people that had experience and looking around. The building's going well but it's used as a venue for all kinds of training and conference things, the workshops are being used for SMEs and so on. So it's also got flexibility built into it. Advice for young people just starting in the field of architecture. Doing architecture for money is the wrong motivation. You must decide what motivates you. Um, if it's money, become a chartered accountant. I try and do f work frugally. You know, whether you're doing a, a big building or small building and so on, frugal is a way of, of reducing the impact on the planet. You know, so we try and look at inventive ways of using inexpensive local natural materials. Mm -hmm.